so cool. It's howdy, awesome. howdy, howdy. Welcome to late Friday night. Um, pardon the, the screen thing. You're going to look at the bottom screen that has or the game that we're going to be playing later. Uh, just because technology has been messing around uh, for the past 20 minutes. Um, mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us late on a, on a, on a Friday. Uh, it should be a good show. I'm looking forward to playing um, this game with West, and West has uh, a story to tell, apparently. So, Oh, it's a good one. It's a banger, as they I say. I believe it. Um, so, yeah, another Friday night. How, how are you, my friend? Ah, I'm good. I'm very good. Uh, I'm I'm glad that it's the weekend and uh, it's going to be a good weekend. Um, I'm going to I leave Sunday to uh, to go to see the eclipse. So I'm super excited about that. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently here in Syracuse, we're going to have it for three ish minutes of 100 percent. So I don't I'm nice. lucky I don't have to go anywhere. I have uh, family in town um, for the weekend, so it should be a good weekend. I'm looking forward to it. That's awesome. Not as good as next I, weekend. So. Not as good as next weekend. Yes, I very much agree. I'm very much looking forward to next weekend. It's going to be a banger. Next weekend is going to be pretty damn good. Uh, the next two yep. weekends, actually. So. Agreed. Um, Agreed. All right. So this one's going to be a little bit of a quickie because, like I said, I have family in town. And um, Wait, uh, I'm actually oh my back goodness. down in, in the old studio while they're they're upstairs uh, i haven't been down here in, in in a hot minute i got my my nice little oh no this way my leprechaun uh, sign thing which west should be on there where'd you sign I, I am if you look down where the dice is i'm just to the upright of the dice oh yeah west of flamingo i was gonna add the flamingo head to the die but then i figured that I was slightly defacing <laughs> your your sign and i figured that was maybe inappropriate nice. maybe crossing the line just a little bit yeah 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 <clears throat> yeah maybe just a little bit I also can't draw very well, so that would probably be another reason why I said no. It would have looked really good, though, I'm sure. It would have. All right, so Next do time the I'm volume... bringing the pink flamingo uh, sharpie. Pink, a pink sharpie? Yeah. Yep, definitely need a pink sharpie next year. Um, well, when we do our This is the PlayCon, we'll have the logo up there. There we go. Yeah, that's perfect. So while you're here, uh, like and subscribe. Do, do, do all those things. Is there a pig head? Did someone draw a pig head on it? Oh, yeah. Marcus did. Right above you. Nice. Well done, Marcus. <laughs> um, all right. So do that while you're there. And then uh, let's go into announcements. Um, I don't have much other than to say there's about an hour and a half left of uh, charcuterie. Uh, the, the surveys are shutting down. So for those that are watching, if you haven't... Um, if you haven't locked in your survey or you're, you're still waiting to go and, and get a copy, um, go on Kickstarter, search. Thank you, Tim. Search uh, charcuterie and, and go do a thing now. It's $11 off if you get it now rather than retail. So that's my real only announcement. I mean, we got um, we're playing how to save a planet, how to save a world, how to save a world. On Monday, uh, Chris and I are joined by the designer Yuval. Um, who, who designed nice. it. I think Sean's going to join us too from Burn Island uh, Kids Table Board Games and Burn Island Games. Uh, but we're playing uh, How to Save a World on uh, live on Monday. So I'm looking forward to that one because anything Burn Island or Kids Table Board Games is just, it's just, it's a hot, a hot game. So um, sure. that's it on my end. What's going on with you? Um, not a whole lot extra on my end. Again, just uh, tons of stuff getting set up for the uh, Rove launch in May. Um, mm -hmm. We haven't got the exact day of able to be announced yet, but we did get our white box in um, from our main manufacturer. So we got a chance to look at it and oh my gosh, it's a big box. Uh, it weighs 16 pounds. <laughs> oh my God. Um, yeah. Uh, there's a few things we get to cut out of it, which is great. Uh, but there's a few things that we're adding to it. Um, so by the time it's all said and done, it should stay somewhere in that nature. Um, so it is, it's pretty it's a it's a mega big kid um but it's gonna be so cool uh getting to see all the pieces put together we got uh six prototypes from a different manufacturer coming in so we could test between the two of them um and it, you know i think it's cool to see it like come together and for there to be a, a video of all the pieces being put inside the box and it just it feels good yeah um, it's, it's something cool to see so yeah very excited about that that's cool um, yeah yeah it's always fun we got i'm working on um 
the the game um I, I can't i'm not talking about it yet but uh like you said seeing the pieces coming together um even though they're 3d printed but seeing the actual piece that was rendered and put together for the bits of the game and then seeing an stl file actually print up a bit that will be manufactured for the game later on it's, it's really cool to see it yep. act, like happening right yeah yeah, it's it's very very cool to see, especially when it's something that you've been working on for a really long time, yeah. and you're like, man, this is this ever gonna actually happen? And you know, then to get to see all those pieces put together, it's very exciting. Yeah, it's cool. And, it's cool stuff. Yeah, I'm I'm hopeful that I'll get to have a copy. Um, I need to have a copy for uh for next week, but um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. There was a there was a uh a change to some of the the reviewer situations and because we're getting those really big copies from um, our main manufacturer coming in um, they're hopeful that they'll be in in time uh, so if not then i'll just get one of the other ones but you'll have a copy next weekend right at niagara falls so maybe not next weekend but the weekend after at the um, hotel though at the hotel yeah I, Matt, I'm not... he's gonna be there i believe matt you're going to niagara falls next week right next weekend for a week ish also, it's good to see you, my friend. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. So I'm. I will. Uh, I will have a copy, whether or not it's the copy from the main manufacturer or the copy from the other manufacturer. We'll see. Um, cool. It just. It may not be next weekend. It might be the weekend after. Cool. Um, so. Still looking forward we'll to seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Tuesday um, to Sunday. Cool. I look forward to seeing you, buddy. Very cool. I'll grab you for one of the dinners too. Just remind me. Or I'll talk to you when you get there. Um all right. So that's it for announcements. I I believe uh oh, and also for announcements, we should say if you're going to go look at the moon um and the sun together, make sure you're wearing approved glasses. Uh don't don't go staring with your, your regular naked eyes because we want you to be able to see this beautiful face on the regular and uh you can definitely hurt your eyes if you don't use proper equipment so yeah i've heard there's some fake glasses out there but i definitely remember looking at the sun when i was younger and i'm 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 fine so yeah it's like oh, nice. you know all wear sunscreen but you know god good that's good you sound like west with all his traveling yeah yeah eyes are overrated also it's good to see you thanks for tuning in again <laughs> absolutely all right um i guess it's time to move to the next thing yes okay for the record i don't like my i i need to have my hands on the table and i really dislike that underneath me are the pieces and you can see what my hands are doing and it's very weird for me um but i'm just gonna do it because i don't care anymore and it, it feels really uncomfortable for me just sitting here not using my hands so I apologize to everybody watching the bottom of the screen going, what is that weird guy doing? I, it, I just got you. Yeah. And if, I, if I take that out, then the sound is all wonky. That's what we were messing around with before the show. So unfortunately yeah. you're going to have to stare at that for. Yeah. So I'll just try to, I'll, I'll try to just touch this one thing and I'll keep my hands as, as close as I can. We'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, so my daughter's doing driving school and that's what we're going to have to talk about for my wild west secret surprise this week. Yeah. Oh, I like how that worked. That's very nice. That's very nice. Okay. That's so good. Such a good song. Yes. So normally in my Wild West Secret Surprises, I talk about things that happened to me or uh, I bring on some really cool things or some interesting stuff. But this week, we have to talk about what literally just happened not two hours ago because okay. it is messing with my mind and I need uh, normal people who potentially either have had children go through the driving school or went through driving school themselves because I, as an adult, went through driving school, not as an adult, as a kid, went through driving school in Virginia, and I have a certain expectation of what driving school should be. And here in Michigan, they apparently do it a slightly different way. So uh, tomorrow is the first day that my daughter will be behind the wheel of a vehicle 
and there will not be an adult in the seat adjacent to her. Next to her will be another student. What? Uh-huh. It's the like, range day, though. So apparently with range day, um, because you're only going seven miles an hour and you're not actually on the open road, it doesn't matter. It's okay. You can have another student in the wheel in the passenger seat next to you. Now, there are um, some walkie-talkies, which should apparently keep you safe. Um, and uh, you'll have an opportunity to uh, listen to rules and instructions uh, while uh, you're, you're in behind the wheel of a, you know, 1.5 ton vehicle uh, driving at hopefully no more than seven miles per hour, quote unquote. Okay. Um, and I just found out that that was the case literally at eight o'clock tonight when my daughter has her first range day tomorrow at 10 a.m. Yeah, there you go, Marcus. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't have Maverick and Goose shirts for them, that like that would actually be really funny. If I yeah. if I'd have known um that that was going to be the case number 1, I wouldn't have her in the class, but number 2, um <laughs> I would have definitely gotten better shirts for sure. Um I, now, I mean Yeah, Goose probably not so good. Probably not. <laughs> um I would seven have miles an hour. Like, it's tough to do seven miles an hour. Yeah. I mean, and the what I was told was that, you know, it's okay. It's just the starting, the stopping, the moving in the forward, the backwards. And then, uh, you know, there, there'll be one kid in the front who has had an opportunity to do some driving, you know, because there's always one kid who's had the chance to be behind the wheel. And, you know, even when by law, they're not allowed to be behind the wheel. Um, you know, this is technically their first opportunity to legally be behind the wheel of a vehicle, according to Michigan state law. Um, but, you know, there's always somebody that has been and they'll be the ones in the front. They'll be like the, the leader of the pack, so to speak. So they'll they'll go first, do the stop and starts. And and then that's at five miles an hour or seven miles an hour. And then there'll be a person behind them who on the walkie talkie, the safe part, they'll go, OK, next vehicle go ahead and go and then they'll do their stop and startings and uh and get there is it a closed uh, course so it is a closed course um okay. that apparently at one point in time michigan uh dmv or they call it secretary of state here but apparently yeah. they they do show up and they like take a look at everything they measure all the things you have to use exactly the right cones you have to use exactly the right signage and all that kind of stuff has to be exactly the right size um and so they've passed all of those tests which is wonderful uh and apparently michigan state law says that it's completely fine for there not to be an adult in the passenger seat of the car in the car at all not even the passenger seat there's no not adult even in the car at all yeah there's no adult in the car at all it's literally just my daughter and then someone else's kid in the car at the same time. Okay. It's, it's just not what I was expecting at all, at all, like not even close to at all. Like I kind of freaked out because there's very few things in the world that make me, that get me angry. Um, I mean, we've been friends for a while. You've never seen me angry. Um, I don't, generally get angry no. yeah um i was hot like angry angry um <laughs> like i i was really really upset uh and and i i just oof. um i was very kind and i called the school and said hey i i'm sure that my daughter's misunderstanding the situation and in fact she wasn't uh it was I'm actually sure worse your daughter is perfectly fine and you've trained and practiced enough to be ready for this moment right like no this is the first time my daughter's ever been behind the wheel of a vehicle besides one time in the parking lot of a church with me yeah huh. because hey, right. legally she's not allowed to and i thought that was the way it was supposed to work right right so, that makes sense uh because oh. when i was in school the very first range day that we had, we had an instructor who was in the seat right next to us. And the the lady who then was in charge of the, the class said, oh, well, you know, when you signed up for everything, 
it said that, hey, uh, you know, the first hour will be one student and then the second hour will be the passenger. And I thought, yeah, that's right. The passenger who's sitting in the back seat will be the person who goes next. And then you'll have, but there's always an adult in the seat with the special pedal. That's why they have a special pedal there to stop the car in right. case something bad happens. Um, but yeah, that's apparently not the case. So now to her credit, she said um, that, uh, yeah, that, that this was going to be one of the situations where if I, did, I didn't feel comfortable that I that she would be more than happy to schedule an outside range session just for my daughter. And I was like, well, it's not really fair. I mean, I said, I appreciate that. The problem is that I, I I'm mad and I will make an irrational decision right now. So I need to talk to my wife. I also need to talk to my daughter because if my daughter feels like she's okay with it, I don't want to single her out and make her feel uncomfortable in front of all the other students. Right. So that's not cool. So I'm, I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to talk to my family and then we'll come up with a decision from there. Now, obviously, I wanted to say, no, she should absolutely not do it. And yes, you should absolutely have the, that first class with an instructor in this, the passenger seat. Uh, but my, my daughter says that she feels OK. And as long as the person in the seat next to her is someone who's confident enough as well, then she feels like that she'll be fine. And I said, OK, great. So that's what we're going to do. And die, uh, yes, that is correct. This is not the last time on the range. This is the very first time, the first time that any of these children, in theory, have ever been behind the wheel of a vehicle. That's now. This is putting your life on your in, in somebody else's hands. You got to drive on I ninety five. That's that's not safe. No. Uh -uh. Yeah, that's a little. I mean. If they're only doing se supposed to only be doing seven miles an hour and they're starting mm -hmm. and stopping and doing some minor kind of stuff, I don't I don't see that. It's not like they're going out to a stoplight and making turns into traffic and like that. I get right. This is yeah. it's a closed course. They're not going more than seven. They're mm -hmm. just looking at like really s low level skills of being in a vehicle like that's shouldn't be too much. Right. Shouldn't be too much. Yeah. Um, she said that, you know, the, the, the first day they'll, they'll have the one kid in the front who knows what they're doing. And then they just kind of, uh, it, once everybody's done that a couple of times, they've switched. And then she said, we'll make sure we do all that stuff before we do any cross traffic stuff. So, you know, before they do any things that, you know, have one, one person going this way and another person going this way, before we do all of that, we'll have made sure that everybody's got that first set down pretty good. And even those cross traffic stuff, there'll be no instructors in the car. Nope, no instructors, no instructors in the car at all for any of the range days. And there's two of them because um, it's a full two hours worth of range tied one hour each uh, day. So she'll be doing it on Saturday and on Sunday. And I, I so don't understand. I really don't. I don't. I I'm I have such a hard time with it. I, I'm still kind of in shock, frankly, because I just don't get it. I don't understand why that's okay. Um, and, huh. and I'm, I'm probably a terrible parent for being like, oh, well, I'm still sending my kid anyway. But I mean, in theory, they've done this for 20 years and they've only ever had one accident. So, and it was a minor fender bender. Okay. I'm sure it's completely fine and everybody will be fine and I'm just overreacting. But, you know, it's one of those things where as a parent, I have, I, 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 my, your first kid is the one you're going to make all the mistakes on. And that just sucks. Um, yeah. And I feel like I'm, I'm, I feel like I failed as a parent, not knowing and understanding what this course was better. So I'm I'm very frustrated with myself right now, and I'm mad that I didn't do a better job. I mean, I I mean, was it the wordage of the thing that said the first thing will be just you, the second there'll be a passenger, and they didn't really define what the passenger was? Like that could have been a fucking stuffed teddy bear, and that's a passenger. I don't know if so it's on you at that point. I mean, yeah, um, they said, um, so they have a parent day. So like the parent goes the very first day. My wife went the first day um, and she heard them say that it was just one kid in the car. And, but she thought that that was like, it was one kid in the car and like, she just missed the part where they talked about the instructor. 
um, because she was doing other stuff at the same time. Right, right. Then the lady said, well, when you signed up for the the range day, which you had to do separately, um, it said one person, you know, one child in the car, and then there'd be a second kid that would go for the second hour, and that would be the passenger. And I was like, yeah, okay, that totally makes sense because there's an adult in the car as well, and the passenger is the one sitting in the back. Yeah. But exactly where the passenger was seated and apparently she's like yeah in the passenger seat not like in the back passenger back seat. passenger yeah 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 so i was like uh, okay yeah i agree with dean on this one because it i mean growing up you've gone through it as a parent now yeah. your kid's going through it but you're only going to refer back to what you know and the mm -hmm. industry standard for lack of a better term at this point is that there is a, when you're doing driving school, there is an instructor that I remember my friend told me it was a, I don't know how this was even legal, but they were driving. This was down in Yonkers and they're driving like in the streets of Yonkers on the sawmill and the instructors in the passenger seat with, you know, all the doohickeys just in case something were to happen. They got the pedals and everything. And he's got his little clipboard and folder, like taking notes about him driving and everything. And all of a sudden he would pop the folder up in front of your face while you're driving and say the hood just popped up what do you do like oh, trying geez. to train you for that moment that your fucking hood will pop up right. so like literally while you're driving he's throwing something in front of your face and now there's like oncoming traffic and like curbs and like like that seems a little bit like odd but yeah this is i mean if it's a closed course and maybe there's a little bit less stress because there isn't an adult in the car so you don't feel like there's a teacher like grilling you or making you nervous so maybe you're a little bit you know, relax in your, in your, your, I don't know, approach. Maybe. I, I don't know. I, I yeah. truly don't. I do know that I did make it very clear that uh, I expect there to be an adult in the passenger seat up front when they're actually out on the real road for their driving portion. And she was like, oh, well, of course there's someone out there. <laughs> and she started giggling. And I'm like, really? You're laughing at this? When is I'm like very serious here. I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I get you think it's funny, but it's not funny to me because right. I assumed this for the same reason that you're laughing right now, that obviously they would have someone. I assume there'd be someone in the seat with her right now because I feel like that's just as important, if not more so. Yeah. Very strange. Yeah, this is weird. odd. Like, who's they're doing the instructing through walkie talkies? Mm -hmm. Hopefully, they're cool walkie talkies. Like, I don't know, R two D two walkie talkies, not some like generic bullshit from like dicks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe the instructors in the back. It is. It is a little weird. Yeah, right. Like the hood pops up. Like maybe if you're doing sixty or seventy miles an hour, but it was just a weird test. Yeah, this, the instructor is definitely not in the vehicle at all. They they will be near the vehicle, is what I was told, and they will have uh, walkie-talkies to be in constant communication with the kids. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be, I mean... Yeah, it's a Jesus-take-the-wheel moment. That's yeah, literally sure. what this whole thing is. <laughs> it's it's insane to me. Yeah, um, I agree. That was a little like, ha-ha. Like, no, no ha-ha. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't, it's I never not happened okay. to me. I don't know. It seemed like an odd thing to have happen, but I guess it could happen. My my dad, when I was learning how to drive, he used to put the he would cover up the the back mirror um, so that I couldn't see what was behind me, and he would ask yeah. me what's behind you, yeah. and I would have to have the right answer without looking in the side view mirrors. Right. Um. So like that stuff makes sense, but yeah, I can't imagine because uh, I've never. I mean, I've driven for. 30 plus years at this point i've never had a hood pop up on me <laughs> I'm not no, I, I think older cars right like i know my i got an 81 camaro and if that little contraption was like the spring wasn't working i sure. can see it not like the hood didn't latch properly but the hood unless you're doing like carbon fiber like really lightweight yeah. shit that stuff's heavy like that hood is fucking heavy so you yeah. gotta be and then you know like 70 miles an hour is probably not enough to do it but I guess it could happen. So I guess prepare for it. And it was, it was a weird, like that kind of shit's weird. If that was, if I yeah. found out that happened, then the instructor was doing that shit, doing 35 in traffic. That's no bueno. That's crazy. But like, I mean, I don't know. It seems like it's a little bit of, of a different approach to this driving school. Yeah. I, um, I'm, I'm definitely, definitely surprised. 
uh, and I will be looking around for another driving school that's a little bit closer because we're, I mean, part of the reason why we chose this driving school is not only because they had availability, because there's so many kids trying to get driving education and they don't do it in the schools anymore. It is just privately done now. That's the way the state made it. Yeah. And the... Uh, because of that, everything books up super fast. So, and because we are going on the eights to go see the eclipse, um, we wouldn't be around for that one day. And all the other classes started would have the eighth as one of the classes, and you can't miss the class. So, we're right. like, this is literally the only one. So, we're like, we drive 45 minutes to go to the class and 45 minutes home. It sucks. Um, I don't know, man. You and Eric were pushing hard on Facebook to try and get me to come visit you in Michigan to play. I don't think I want to drive in Michigan. <laughs> I I think you still should though, because all you got to do, you're just driving straight across the Canadian border. So you're literally just driving through Canada. And then you, when you pop out the other side, you're right in, you're right in Detroit. So no, I wouldn't go you, up through Canada. You should. No, then I got to cross the border and, yeah. obnoxious i would just go around i'd drive like to indy and then up we definitely don't want to drive to indy but well yeah you know yeah. I mean, towards like if, as i was going to indy and then cut yeah up. it would be way faster to go through canada you'd probably save you an hour huh. all right well but now so with when all you this... come you'll you'll know just go through I don't know. with all these driving chaos i don't know if it's worth it it's, it's risky it just sounds <laughs> risky now it is it is risky. I'm so confused. Like I'm so confused. I truly am. I don't understand. I I really I just don't I don't get it. Uh it doesn't make any sense to me at all. That um, is that is purely what Yeah. It's very, very strange. Did I tell my uh my You don't send me invites anyway. I've never been invited. I purposefully invited you here to Syracuse. I don't think I've gotten an invite to Michigan. I'm pretty sure that Eric and I are both personally inviting you to Michigan right now. And I'll even drive to Detroit so that you don't have to drive all the way out to my side of the state, where apparently we drive just for funsies with kids in the car all by themselves. <laughs> still seems risky, man. It still seems risky. Uh, did I tell my Christmas story in the Lotus Esprit Turbo in the New Jersey Turnpike? No. Okay. So we'll finish on a fun story because I feel like it's important now that I'm like this big Debbie Downer frustrated dad thing. Um, okay. So it is Christmas 1999, I think. 1999 or 1998. I think it's 1999. Um, okay. And I am... Print story, like end of the year. Yeah, yeah. YTK is going to happen. This is good. Yep. Little red Corvette, except it was a Lotus Esprit Turbo. Yeah. Um, so, Similar. yeah. My buddy, uh, his uh, long story about him, but we'll just, we'll leave it this way. His father was in the Secret Service for Lund in England, and his mom, I'm pretty sure, was in the mob, or at least was like a mob member or something. Uh, our parents were in the mob, so we were along those. But yeah. anyway, uh, we were going to his house for Christmas because for whatever reason, I couldn't go to my, my dad's house for Christmas. I don't remember exactly what it was, but he was like, Hey, do you want to come to my house for Christmas? I said, sure. And he's like, I said, where do you live? And he's like, Oh, I live in New York. And I was like, great, let's go. So we hop into his Lotus Esprit Turbo, which looks like a smaller version of a Lamborghini. And this was back, obviously, before cell phones, and we still just had pagers and stuff like that. And there was no iPass or any of those kinds of things back then. Right. So we're in his car. It is Christmas Eve, and we are flying, like going as fast as you can possibly go, because we're in, we were in North Carolina, and we were on our way to New York City, which is like a 10-hour drive or something. Um, so... We got uh, up to the Jer New Jersey Turnpike, and it is now Christmas Day, and it is 2 o'clock in the morning at this point. And when we popped onto the Turnpike, you know, you get that little sheet of paper, and it tells you where you got on. And then when you get off the Turnpike, you hand the paper over to the person, and then they look at it, and they tell you how much you owe. 
Now, right. every time we were going close by, whenever you'd get to one of those little stations or whatever, we would slow down. But we were that we had the thing pegged, so it was going as fast as it could possibly go. It's at it's it pegged at 140, but it definitely kept climbing after that. Um, so we were flying on the turnpike, absolutely insane. And we got to the end of uh, where we were getting off of the turnpike, and we handed in our little slip. And then the lady looked at the slip. She looked back at us, and then she looked at the slip and she closed the window. And we're like, that's really weird. Why would you do that? And then all of a sudden, there's red and blue lights in the back of the car. And we're like, what is going on? And then we hear a a sound over the microphone. Hey, it's time. You need to pull over. Pull over. So we're like, okay, fine. So we scoot up and we pull over. And then we look back. And behind us is this huge police officer in a golf cart. Like, like if you if you thought of an elephant seal wrapped in like uh twine and burlap that is what this dude looked like what? he was yeah like the dude was as big as an elephant seal just his his whole outfit was just painted on all right and okay. he waddles over to, to the car. When he got off the golf cart, it just like slid to the side like this and then came back up again. And yeah. it's red and blue lights and everything behind us, which I can only imagine. Like you see this Lotus Esprit Turbo, this like super awesome, fast looking car, like a baby Lamborghini. And then behind it is this golf cart with lights. Like it, it doesn't, it's pulled over this beautiful like piece of machinery. But he waddles up to the car and he's like, do you have any idea how fast you were going? And my friend, of course, with diplomatic plates says, I have no idea how fast I was going, sir. And you don't either, because there's no way that you got us on your radar. He's kind of a jerk. Um, But the officer says, I don't need you on radar because I know when you got on to the interstate based on this. And I know when you got off your average speed, sir, was 102 miles an hour. So, yeah, the only reason you're not going to jail and we're not towing your car is because it's Christmas Eve and the jails are full. So Merry Christmas. Give me your license and registration, please. No, he he literally got a ticket that night for 102 miles an hour on the turnpike. Absolutely insane. But, of course, because he had diplomatic plates, he never actually had to pay for it. It got taken care of. But that's my New Jersey turnpike driving story. That's so. crazy. Yeah, they could figure out right when they get your plate in one of those tolls, and then they get you in another one. They know how the distance, and they know how long it takes you. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. And that's what she did because she looked at it and saw like where we were coming from. Yeah, there was no way you could have been at that toll booth in that amount of time. Yeah, yeah. No. And not be a normal, not not have driven like an insanely fast pace. So that's that's what stopped her. She's like, that doesn't make any sense. How would you yeah. have done that? Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm glad that was an actual story because if you came at me with two uh, back-to-back bullshit stories, like the Dolly Parton <laughs> one from last week, I wouldn't believe a thing you ever said ever again. So, good job. <laughs> no worries. I got plenty of those other dad jokes uh, waiting in the wings, but yeah, yeah, not this week. That's crazy. Yep. All right, you ready to play some geckos? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Okay, so this is Garden Geckos. Um, I actually really, I've had a chance to play this about four or five times now, especially with my daughter. Um, I've had quite a bit of fun playing it, so I'm excited to show it to everybody. I think the little gecko on the front is quite cute. I think the game that it is, is is actually deeper and more strategic than the cover yeah. shows but i also think that that's super cute yeah, there's like great. a little gecko inside the box super adorable i'm very happy that we haven't established our rules for losing and winning yet because you've played this multiple times and i haven't yet so it would be a mm-hmm. little unfair so yay yep my um uh my what's the right way to say this it will be unveiled next week great yeah i think you're gonna enjoy it uh yeah it has to be unveiled next week it was my plan to unveil it this week but it has to be unveiled next week okay it makes sense we'll be in person it'll be better 
Oh yeah, it'll be much better. Okay. Um, so the key with this game is that you're going to be taking your geckos. Do you want the red geckos or do you want the white geckos? Um, red. Okay. So uh, the cool thing about these is, I don't know if you can see these properly, but there's little, um, I'm gonna, like okay. the red actually has little uh, designs on them. Yeah, yeah. And uh, green has different designs. So for colorblind people, they're, uh, okay. they're easy to tell the difference between, which is super cool. Um, so I really like that. And all of these meeples um, are also screen printed and they're okay. super adorable and these are all the bugs and stuff that you can trap and this is the way that it is for the entire kickstarter project everything is deluxified there's no special deluxified version it's just all this way which i nice. think is really cool eric i like um, where your head's at mike's punishments can be that he travels to michigan to play games with us i think it's a great idea um this is our starting uh, tile and you'll see all the different types that are there uh the top is gravel and then you've got the blue hawaiian the grass uh the purple hawaiian the blue water and then the yellow like field there um now the key is that on your turn you're going to have three tiles and you take one of these tiles and then you match it to uh a color on the main board here I know that this is, let me see if I can get closer because this is not going to work. It's probably too far away. Un momento, por favor. Let's see here. Well, it's going to spread out too, but. Yeah, but it's still, we can do better. All right, that's a little better. And then as we spread it out, we can always pull back some more. Okay. Okay, um, so as you're playing the pieces here, so let's say that we've got a couple out here on the board, just to make it um, a little bit easier. As you place a, a piece onto the board, let's say I place this piece right here, right? Um, now I have to take my gecko, and then I have to combine those two pieces together. Can you see that? Why? Um, because that's where your gecko goes. So your gecko... Uh, can attach anywhere where those two pieces are. So if it attaches either here or in this particular instance, it can attach here. But you didn't do um, that to the yellow planes and the blue water. Yeah, I was just putting those pieces. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So like as you put something down, you have to put one of your pieces across the board. Okay. Um, and then when I put mine on here, let's say I put this one here, I would then take this one and set it across there. So now okay. we're adding on to them. Um, and then when the next one comes up, let's say I was putting something here, then you would put yours, your piece on there, or you were putting it down, then you would put your piece yeah. there. Now, what you'll see here is this uh, gecko is in between a bug, like these two different bugs. So that's a, a little fly, and this is a moth. And you're going to have these cards where you're trying to make these patterns happen. I can't see so, that. So this is the pattern that you're okay. working on. Okay. Right. Um, you need so both you of them to happen? You need both of them, yeah. So you'll in this particular one, you'll need to have a, um, that brown thing is a cricket. It has to touch one of the mealworms. And the ladybug, you'll have to have touching a cricket. Okay. Cricket? Uh, sorry, a grasshopper. The green one's a grasshopper. Got it. Okay. All right. And we'll have three of these cards active at the same time. Um, yeah. So this one will be grasshopper touches a worm and then ladybug touches a cricket. And then this one is you have to have three crickets touching each other. OK. So one cricket touches one cricket and then you have to have another tick cricket touching a different cricket. And um, so they can be all in a row. They don't have to be in that particular instance, but you have to have three crickets in a row. Um, how can I put these out so that you can see them? That's going to be too far away, probably. No way. Yeah. Can you see those there? Sort of. Sort of. All right. 
well, we can talk about it as we go. Um, the other thing that you're going to have will be these cards. These cards show the different types of terrain that you need to have. And you need to, so you'll need to have a gecko on three different uh, crossings for a gravel and two of the blue flowers. Okay. Okay. Um, this one is, we'll do three of the yellows and then two of the purple flowers. Anywhere on the map, you just have to have a gecko crossing that those, those pieces. three of yep. one, two of the other. Okay. And then this one is uh, three grass and two water. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you can see those a little bit better over there. Sort of. Yeah. yeah. Look at I'm looking. So when I look to the side here, I'm looking at my computer, so I can see it's a little bit more blown up. Um. um when I'm looking at it on the screen up here, it's very small. Very small. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. And so the way that you win is by getting six of these cards, any different count. So you could get two of these and four of the other. Okay. Um, that's been every single time I've played, it's always been someone gets their sixth card. That seems to be the fastest way to, to win the game. The other option is that one of these bugs uh, will be will end up trapping all of one particular type of bug, and I'll get to how trapping works in a second. That's the uh, that's one of the other ways to win. Um, the key with trapping is if at any point in time you uh, you lock in a full square. So let's say that um, I locked in this this poor little fly right here, right? Um, so whoever has the most uh, geckos touching that square will trap that bug. So right now it has two white ones and two red ones are in there because it's a tie. Whoever was the last one to place a tile and place their gecko wins. So white would win in this instance because uh, it's got they recently they were the ones last that just one. placed the last one. Okay. And then that means that you would then get one of these bugs and that's a resource. That bug is worth one point at the end of the game. Okay. Um, having said that, let's say you won a cricket. And at the end of the game, if you have like this one here, you've got the three crickets. Right. If at the end of the game, you have enough crickets to place one cricket on each one of those spots, then you would gain two points per cricket instead of just one. Okay. Okay. So you can gain extra points that way. Um, but you have to have enough to complete the card. You have to have enough to be able to complete the entire card, yeah. And you can't use cricket. You can't use the same bug to complete a different card. Okay. Um, you still like you'll still get points for this card regardless of whether or not you've trapped enough bugs to earn the extra points. But to make those trapped bugs worth more points, if you can complete one of the cards with those trapped bugs, then you gain extra points for the, doing that. Okay. Um, at the end uh, of the game, the bugs that are across the bottom will be points so this card is worth four points because it's those number of bugs on the bottom uh, it's whereas, just the number of bugs not the bug specifically correct and okay. whereas like this one's worth three points because it's okay. got three bugs okay yeah. um there are special goals uh you can either get a goal that's a different a type of terrain like this and you'll earn points for that type of terrain or you can get one where you earn points for that type of bug. Okay. And so every, in this particular case, every worm that you have, whether it's on one of these cards at the bottom, um, or if you've trapped a worm in the middle, then you get two points for every worm that you have on your side. Okay. Um, the way you count points for the uh, particular like type of terrain cards is if we look down here, um, you're going to score one point for each piece that's on a terrain piece. So this is one, and you're doing it for the longest uh, route, basically. So wh whatever the largest grouping of that particular color is, you're yeah. going to gain points for that. So in this one, you've got one because this is the starter tile. 
then you have one for this one here. And then this one is two because in each tile, there's only three different types. And so this one has two of the same one. So you get two points for that tile. So it'd be one, two, three, four in this particular case, if you had this particular card. Okay. All right. But you only get one of those and it is what it is. Okay. And that is the game. So would you like to go first or would you like me to go first? Uh, why don't you go first? Are these my cards on the bottom? Uh, these are all the cards. So all of us get it. We're going to both work on these together at the same, like to get the same time. And then once one of them is used, then we will flip another one over. You can only score these cards as an active score. So in other words, you have to put something down and then you score the cards that you're able to score that particular turn. And it has to be something you've done to earn that. You can't just be like, oh yeah, by the way, I also won uh, this one. Okay. So those six cards are face up for both of us to be going at. Correct. Okay. And then once, like if I score one, it'll get replaced cool. and you'll be able to do the next card. All right. Um, okay. Are you white or red? Red. Okay. I have red down here, white up here. Uh, you're going to have a hand of cards. I'm going to have a hand of tiles. I'm going to put your tiles. I guess I'll put your tiles here so that you can see them. Um, it doesn't really matter if someone sees them or not. It's not a big deal. Um, there's not a whole lot of hate drafting that can happen. I'll let you see my tiles as well. No big deal. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go full screen so I can see this stuff better because it is super fucking tiny. And mm -hmm. then every time it is it is um, West's turn, I will pop out of full screen and check the comments just to see if anybody is, is saying anything. So if you comment and I don't uh, acknowledge it, it's because it's full screen and I can't see it. <laughs> I can right. also keep my eyes on the comments too, and if there's something good, I can tell you. Okay. Oh, good. Um, so now it's West's fault. So if if I don't know about the comment, then West yep. doesn't think it's good. That's Perfect. that's exactly it. A hundred percent. Love it. That's the problem. Um, okay, I'm gonna show you what your secret uh, thing is. I'm gonna look away. So if it doesn't, if you can't see it properly in the um, thing, I'm gonna put it up here though, so that you can see it, because I. I can I know I can hold up a card and make it make sense this way, whereas I'm I might miss doing it this way. Um, I'm not going to look though. Okay. Okay. I'm definitely not going to turn my head this way and stare at the screen. I'll turn my head this way. Right, because I don't know what's over there. But okay. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to look this way. I'm right. going to 100% look this way. Sure. Gotcha. Okay. All right. You ready? Sure. This is your special card. Can you see okay. it? Yep. Got it. All right. You got you 100%. You have it. 100%. Okay, you don't need me to hold it up here anymore? You can hold it up as long as you want, but I got it. Okay, good. I'll cool. put that over to the side then. You just look at it. You just look down at it. I just put it down over here. Oh, See? Man. I just put it down. Okay, all right. I promise I'm not that sneaky. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to look at mine now. Okay, I got mine. You should turn it over and show everybody else. Okay, you turn your head away. No, no. <laughs> All right, ready? Close your eyes. One. Nope. I'm going to show also, it. I'm not doing that either. No, All right, yes. go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, we're good. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Now it is time. Uh, so me go first, which means you get to choose the trap bug that goes in the center. So what type of bug would you like to have in the center? Um, there's a lot of crickets down there, isn't there? There's a ton of crickets. Yeah. Crickets. There's four or five crickets that are showing here in the cards, yeah. two worms, uh, two, two grasshoppers and two yeah. ladybugs. Yeah. So do a cricket. All right. Cricket it is. So there's a brown cricket in the center. Interesting. I have no crickets in my tiles, so that is that is less good. But what I do have are worms. So I'm going to put a worm here. So now I have a worm and a cricket touching each other. Seems inappropriate. Which, 
is one of these over here. <laughs> it is a little inappropriate. I agree. All right. Well, then. Can I do. What's the what's the bug on the what, what are the bugs on my tiles? Is it is one's a cricket and two are the grasshoppers? Yep. One's a cricket and two are grasshoppers. I like any of those. So you can, once you have a resource, like once you've trapped a bug, you can use one of your bugs and trade it in and get three new tiles. So you'll have six tiles in front of you to use, but uh, you have to discard three of them after. Right. But right, you don't have any the, resources right now. Take the middle tile and the flower, the blue. This one? Yep, yep, the one you just touched. Okay. And put it there. Okay. Like that? Nope. Keep turning. Yep. Yep. Okay. And then put the gecko uh, going towards uh, your left from that. Like that? Yep. Okay. So now I have a grasshopper touching a worm. Yes. Okay. Yes, you do. All right. And now you got a new one, which is another grasshopper with blue Perfect. in there. Good thing okay. I want grasshoppers. <laughs> it's a very good thing you want grasshoppers. Um, okay. And the game ends when the first person collects six of those things. Yeah. Six cards seems to be the fastest way to make the game end. Okay. Um, there are other ways, but that's the fastest way, it seems. Um, okay. Well, I still don't have any of those things, and we don't need moths. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I'm going to put the two flowers together. So I now have a cricket and another worm together. Not that I need that. I just happen to have it. Okay. All right. Um, so then we don't have the terrain. Only one of the terrain has to match. Yep. Only one terrain has to match. All right. Then do. Um, interesting. So what if we did the stone? So the my left, the left tile on my left. tile. Yep. And make the stone okay. touch that stone. Okay. This or um, like this? That doesn't matter. That's fine. Okay. And then cross the stone with the with the gecko, and now I have cricket touching cricket. Cricket touching cricket. Okay. And now, uh, that's fun. Okay. So now you have this one, which is yet another cricket. Fantastic. Okay. I, um, okay, well, I don't have any water, so let's put something here so I can mess up what you're doing, maybe, and I'm putting, so I now have a yellow and a cricket touching a moth. Oh, that's a moth. And you have three yeah. on that inner thing. I do have three on the inner thing, yes. So if I close that off, you win it. I will earn a cricket, yes. So I'll just let you close that off then. Mm -hmm. Probably smart. All right. Unless you need um, that one. Because technically, if you have another cricket and you can put it right there, which you don't right now, but if you did, then you would get this card here. Right. I can't place it there because I don't have water. Correct. Right now, you don't have a cricket with water. But I can place it right there. Yeah, uh, here or, or here. Yeah, I no, go the other way. Yeah, that way. Yep. And then place it from. Yep. And now I have cricket to cricket. Yep. Your right? crickets are touching crickets. Very yep. nicely done. Thank you, so thank that you. means that you got that card, and now we get a new card that comes out. Fly, fly moth and cricket now this is it doesn't matter where they are you just have to have them you, you, some one of your geckos has to be touching them so you have to be touching two flies and a moth and a uh grasshopper 
Any, any, they don't need to be connected. Just be touching. They do not need to be connected. Nope. They could be just any random ones on the board. So that one gecko that I just placed is touching two crickets. Would that count? If they were flies, would that count as two flies? It would. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, well, since I have a water, I'm going to go ahead and turn this. I'm going to collect that uh, cricket because that makes the most sense for me. Um, so I'm going to collect one cricket and put it up here with my stuff. Can you see that I put that? No, because it's not even in the frame. All right, so I'll put it down here where my stuff is. So there I have one cricket um, in there. And so now this tile in the center has been captured. So it this bug still exists there it's still eligible for all these different cards and things but no one else can take that piece once something is fully surrounded the bug is gone and do you get your geckos back i feel like geckos are limited they are very limited yes we only have five so once all five of them are on the board then you have to take a gecko from the board and move it to a different location oh uh, okay yep all right okay so worm worm Grasshopper, moth, grasshopper, cricket, cricket. Okay, and I have a moth, a grasshopper, and a grasshopper. Correct. Oh, those grasshoppers are great, aren't they? They're extremely helpful for you right now, yeah. I mean, they're not. Uh, I could get the grasshopper moth. There's no ladybug, though. There is no ladybug outright yet. Or not moth, worm. All right, so let's do... Um, Let's do the blue, the flower, the grasshopper with the flowers. Yep. On the, yeah, there's fine. We could do it here. Over there is also fine. I don't, I don't think it matters necessarily. That, that good? yeah, that makes the, the flower now is how many, one, two, Three, four, it'd be five, six. It'd be seven, technically. Seven? All right, do yep. it there. Place the gecko. Do you want that it gecko. here or yeah. do you want it here? Uh, Either way, I'm touching grasshopper and worm, right? Yep. Do I have to get it to go the other way in order to get that tile to count as my contiguous... Flower no, you don't even have to be on them. It's just whichever one the largest one is. If that's what you're aiming for, it, it doesn't matter if you are on oh. them or not. The only thing that matters is if that's my secret goal. Correct. That's the I'm only thing that matters say. for a secret goal. Oh, uh, okay. Well, it looks pretty either way. That's fine. It does look pretty either way. All right. So grasshopper, worm. That's cool. Worm, grasshopper, grasshopper, worm. Okay. Yep. Uh, I am going to get the ladybug going here oh cool um so i'm gonna said. put her up here so there's now a ladybug and a cricket and so i've got ladybug and uh grasshopper and i have worm and cricket so i've earned this one okay so this one now belongs to me yep and now we get a new card, and this one's going to be um, two crickets, a ladybug, and a fly. Cool. And none of us have anything for the rest of those. We're too, still very far away from the terrain ones. Right. So my middle, first of all, it all went blurry. Because your it hand. Come back. Sure, it should. Does it stay blurry, really? My middle tile is a fly. There you go. Okay, your middle tile is a fly, yes. And I have cricket cricket already, right? You currently have cricket cricket. You have two with cricket crickets. Cool. So can we get... We can't get that fly to touch that ladybug because the terrain type doesn't match, correct? Um... You cannot. No, there's no terrain that would match that, unfortunately. Cool. 
All right, well, then I'll hold on to the fly. Um, where's the moth on the board? Oh, I have a moth. Ooh, I have a moth. You do have let's, a moth, yes. All right, let's put the moth into play. Okay. And put the moth... Um, I don't know. Somewhere on the left with that green pasture. Here? Yeah. Okay. Which gives you cricket to moth. Sure. Or not cricket to moth. Gives you grasshopper to moth. Grasshopper to moth. Yep. Okay. Yep. New tile. Yep. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Well, I really want to fill this in so I can get a worm, but I don't have a tile that makes sense for me to put there. <laughs> because what I'd really like to do is put a cricket here and then in theory, but I don't even have, I, cause I'm trying to look at this one. So I don't have this either unfortunately right that is less good and i have no worm to make that happen okay well um that sucks and i don't have i do have i only have one cricket well i need another cricket so let's put another cricket on the board here. So here we go. We'll do this, and then I need to pull something away. So let's pull this one away, I think. So now that gives me two crickets, a ladybug, but no fly. So, okay, your turn. Um, well, let's take that ladybug and put it on the top water. Okay. And close that off. All right. And, and I would move the water in be to, to the middle, that middle tile that just got closed in so I could win that because I'm the last person to play. That is less good. Which one of these guys do you want to take off? Um, I don't need... Uh, the Cricket Cricket should stay. The Moth Grasshopper needs to stay. How about that center... The Cricket Cricket that's going into the center Cricket? Nope. Cricket this Cricket? One? Yeah, that one. I don't need that. Okay. Right? I The bottom one's Cricket Cricket. Yep, that's Cricket Cricket, so that gives you two. I don't need that cricket. one in the middle anymore. Okay, that's good. All right, and that means that you now have this worm. Okay. And are you doing, do you have any of these? I do not. Okay. I don't think I do, anyway. Nope, because we don't have any black flies up at this right. point. Do I have two? I do have two bugs. I have that. So as soon as I can put this out, which I'm going to do, I'm going to put this out here. And then I can take this guy and move him here, which then means that I have one fly, one ladybug, and two crickets. Mm -hmm. So I've got this one. And I think that's all I have of those. I do have two waters, but I don't have any greens. I don't have enough stone, and I definitely don't have any yellows. So good, 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 good. All right, so now we have a new card out. Yeah, that is going to be those. Okay. a moth. Okay. Oh, that's really that's really cool. 
Um, so I'm going to take my fly. I'm going to match the flower up from the fly to the flower of the fly you just placed. Okay. And then... Um, I'm going to take the... God, that one's tricky. I think the 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 one the gecko that's all the way on the left on the top of the screen for me. This one? No, uh, no, your left. Yeah, what is that one connecting? That that is a uh, worm and a uh, ladybug. All right, remove that. Put that between the fly and the fly. Between the fly and the fly. Okay. Uh, well, wait a minute. Hold on. No, no, no. Leave that. Go put that back. Because I think I can get two of those cards. I have the grasshopper if moth. You, if you can connect this one. Well, not with the fly. I can't. Because you don't oh, have you don't have this one, so you'd have to do you'd have to figure out a way to connect these two together. Or I do the ladybug cricket, which I can't do either. But you can definitely get this card the way that you played it. Yeah, I thought I could do two. No, that's fine. Um. Yeah, do that. Okay. Which means you do get that card. That brings you to your second card. We're yep. both at two cards. And you have... Oh, you can't see the cards that you have. I'll put them over here. No, I don't need to see them. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, another tile for you. That fly? It is a fly. And okay. then this is our new card. Okay. Hmm. All right. Do I have that already? I think I do have that already. I do, but I have to play something that still allows me to keep that. Okay, if I play this here, and then I take this guy off and move him here, that means that I have one cricket, I have a worm, I have a ladybug, and I have a grasshopper. Well done. I've got that one. Um, I don't have a cricket to a worm, and I don't have a moth currently, so I don't get either of those. I don't have enough yellows, I don't have enough greens, and I don't have the other. Okay, next one showing up is going to be three worms in a Ooh. row. I don't think I could do that. All right, I can't connect that ladybug because I don't have water. Mm -hmm. um, my tiles are what? Fly, fly, and grasshopper? Fly, cricket, grasshopper. Fly, cricket, grasshopper. Still can't get a cricket to the ladybug. I can't get any of those right now. So that's fun. So I have flower, flower, and then I know this is the wrong flower. Green, green, blue, blue. No, that ain't gonna work either. Wow, oh, this is a throwaway. Um, all right, well, we're working on this rock one here because you've got enough rocks, probably. Yeah, but I can also close in that that one tile there and get a a. a oh reset. yeah, I forgot. We closed in this this guy here, so I've got a ladybug. 
Yeah. So let me take the grasshopper on the bottom. Okay. And put the grass there. Yep. Okay. And then I'll remove that fly fly now is screwing me. Um, yeah, let's get rid of the fly fly on the top. Okay. Okay. All right. So don't have any of those. No. Nope. Don't have those currently. Okay. Here's your new tile. That's a moss. Okay. All right. Um, I need moth grasshopper. I have moth grasshopper. So I'm going to put that one here. And hmm. move this guy there. So that is fly, ladybug, moth, grasshopper. So that me earns me this one. That would be my fourth card. Next one uh, is um, fly, worm, cricket, grasshopper. Do I have cricket, grasshopper? I don't. You do not have cricket, grasshopper. I can get fly worm, but I can't get. I don't have cricket grasshopper. Huh. You're trying to get us copyrighted with that music going for the record. Can you hear it? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. When you're quiet, it like goes and it comes. It 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 comes out. I have it low, like super low. All right. That's funny. Interesting. Okay. And, um, uh, so we should go to the um, to the comments because there's a couple of good uh, comments that got put down. Um, okay. Alan is in the comments and he says, hey guys, how did you get that copy? Uh, is this game out yet? So this uh, game hey, is Alan. not out yet. It is actually on Kickstarter currently. Um, I, I asked very nicely. I said, could I please play this game? Because it looks super fun. And especially since the box cover doesn't actually show what the game looks like. Uh, this is one of those tricked games, like you were talking about on Monday night, where the box cover, to me, doesn't mm -hmm. look like the game that's inside it. It is, it is a lot thinkier than the box cover looks. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this is very true. And yes, Eric is right. You do have to be perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I want to play this game differently next time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when my daughter and I played it the first time, she was like, okay, Dad, we're playing this again, right? <laughs> I went, yeah. Yep, for sure. All right, I can't get anything with a placement. So let's get... The stone, uh, the the cricket in the middle with the stone. Okay. Place that kind of in front of you with the stone and the grasshopper. Okay. And then remove the grasshopper, grasshopper, gecko. Okay. Yep. I don't have anything because I don't have the fly worm. Okay. And I don't have a ladybug ladybug cricket. So I'm good. All right. And then your next one is a moth. Hmm. I don't like that either. Um, all right. So I'm going to go. I really want to use this one. But it doesn't match either of these flies, which is very unfortunate. Um, hmm. 
So I'm going to play up here with this fly. And I'm going to take this guy and move him here so that that does that. It doesn't yeah. get me anything at this point. Yeah. Unfortunately. All right. Then let me do uh, my middle stone moth. Okay. Uh, you know what? Wait, hold on on the stone. Do the do the fly with the flower. Okay. And put it close in that worm. Right in front of you. Close this yeah. worm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And use the um, the one farthest away from you. This one. Yep. Okay. All right, which is fly worm. And you've got that one. So you get this card. Yep. So that gives you three cards. And I get a worm from closing in that thing. And you get the worm for closing it in. Yep. Okay. You have four cards? I have four cards. Yep. Okay. This is the new one, which is um, fly okay. to moth and worm to ladybug. Okay. I need a new tile. Yeah. Worm. Well, that's frustrating. Sorry. Because I could get two of these. <laughs> But I can't get two of them because it's just not right. Dang it. Well, you get one now and one next time and you win. So. <sighs> okay. Um, placing this one here. And moving this guy to there. And that gives me three greens and two blues. Oh, nice. I can gain that one. That's my fifth one. Now the new one that we're going for is four greens. Cool. Ugh, that's not going to happen. All right. So. Worm, worm, worm is not going to happen. That's just not. Ladybug is. There's only one ladybug on the board. There's two. There's one here and one oh, here. One oh, okay. But I don't have the right thing to get that, so that's out. And I just closed that one in, so I'm going to take the... All right. Fly Pre moth. I don't have fly moth. I have fly worm. But I could get fly moth. Do I have worm ladybug? I don't. Nope. So I can't get any of those. Cool. All right, let's take the stone worm. Okay. And then put it in the stone right in front of you in that open spot. Down here? No. Stone worm. Um, sorry, stone, uh, the grasshopper. Oh, One up here? Around. There you go, yep. Okay. Um, that's going to close that off and get me a grasshopper. And then I'll use the gecko going from uh, green to green, the, the moth to grasshopper. Upper this right, one? that one, yep. Okay. Get rid of that and put it on the stone to stone, yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't think I have it. I don't have the worms. I don't have the ladybugs, so those are out. I don't have enough for those things, so I'm good. Okay. Uh, and then I will I will close it down with a grass to grass and take this new grass grass one 
for my sixth one. Nice. Um, which closes in this guy, so I get a a uh, grasshopper for that. Okay. And then you still get to finish your turn. Uh, the new tile is one yellow, one green, and one st stone. Yeah, that's cool. I'll place the one of the stones. Um... Can I get a stone worm? No, I can't. Fuck. Can I? No. Fuck. Um, moth fly. I don't have ladybug. That ain't gonna help me at all. All right, fuck it. Do the. Oh, wait, that's a ladybug on the stone though, isn't it? This one here. Yeah. Yeah. Can I do? All right. Can I do that stone uh, on the? on the right side of the board from where you're sitting that there's that, that cricket. This one, right side, this one where you're sitting. Yep. yep. Okay. That'll get me. Um, I want to go ladybug to cricket. Okay. There to there. Sure. Which one do you want to take off? I want to take out the, the gecko that's all the way on your left. This one. Yes. No, you don't want to take out that one. Yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't I? Because then you you could get this card too. Can't yeah, you? but I have it oh, right no, there. You can't. I have grasshopper worm anyway. Oh yeah, I see. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So All right. That, that gives you this one, right? And this one. Correct. Nice, nicely done. Right. Yep. I mean, I got five cards, not six, but still. Hey, they're good cards, though. Yeah. All right. All right. So that did that. Now we add up points on the bottom of the cards and then try and double our points with the things we have. Yep. Resources so, we have. Uh, that is correct. So uh, let's do this slightly unconventionally since uh, we've got kind of everything out in the open. Is your special uh, card a tile piece? Like one of the one of the colors of tile terrain? No. no? It's a creature. Okay. All right, perfect. So then what we could do is just move this stuff out of the way because then it doesn't really matter about those. And we can just look at the pieces. So, so my 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 thing doesn't matter where my gecko is connected on the map? No. It's literally however many you have collected. Yep. Got it. Okay. Okay. Um, so let's pull these over here into the window. All right. Can you fill up any of your cards? I don't think so. Unfortunately not. But um, what is your special card is a worm. All right. Awesome. So that means that for each worm that you have here on the bottom and for the worms that you have here, those are worth two points. So right. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve for the worms. So keep that to the side. Okay. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve plus what was the first one? Twelve. So twenty-four. So twenty-four points. Nicely done. Okay. Uh, uh twenty-four plus these two here, so you got twenty-six points. Okay. Nice. All right, twenty-six. And then for me, my secret one was crickets, which I kind of forgot about. <laughs> um, so there's that. Uh, so here we go. Got me. Okay, so I got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen for my first part. Okay. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so let's say twenty for the first part, and then we'll count two for each cricket. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. Yep, you won. No, I had twenty six. Oh, that's right. We fucking so tied. We twenty six. So let me see. Can I fill up any of these things? I've got a cricket, this and that, but I don't have a worm. So yeah, so we both tied. What's the tie? There's got to be a tiebreaker. Don't tell me we tied. Come on. So let's see. Is there a tiebreaker? Uh, game in final score. The 
end of the game. There is no tie break currently in the rules. We just tied. What are the odds that we tied? Honestly, <laughs> I had less cards. The win, the tiebreaker should be the winner. The win, the whoever had the most, the less cards. Whoever had the least amount of cards should be the tiebreaker. Of course, I got twenty six uh, with five cards. You got twenty six with six cards. That's true. Yeah, you did a much better job of getting cards with worms on them. Thank I you. did a very bad job of getting cards with. Well, I all of mine had crickets except for one, and but they didn't have crickets on the bottom, which is very frustrating. But yeah, so that is uh, Garden Geckos. That's good. That's a good one. I like that. It's surprisingly deeper than the cover makes it look. Absolutely, hundred percent. Right? Yeah, that, for sure. That was the when I looked at the actual game, I saw pictures of the game and was like, "Dude, this does yeah. not look like this." No, like this is a. It's a really cute cover, but I was not expecting this game out of yeah. it. And when I when I saw the pieces. Um, and, and I saw pictures of it in the design lab. I was like, hmm, that game yeah. looks very different. I'm I'm really interested to see what it looks like. And this is a, I had a really good time playing. Yeah, that's um, really good. I like that a lot. Yeah. And the replayability with the secret goal and the way the goals come out and the tiles yep. are random. Like that's, that one's good. That's a good one. There's, there's a ton of these secret goal cards. So, I mean, you've got yeah. a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Um, one for each animal, them. one for each terrain type. That makes sense. Yep. That's very cool. And there's yeah. a, a bunch of these, uh, of the terrain goal cards, yeah. um, a bunch of the bug cards as well. They're all fun and different. Um, it's really nice. The production quality on this game too is really nice. Yeah. These all cards are printed. Like those are, those are good. Yeah. They're and the, the cards are all linen finished. So they're, they feel nice and heavy. They're a real nice, nice. weight. Um, nice. they did a great job. I'm, I, I really enjoyed Definitely enjoyed the game. Is it Tin Robot, if I remember? Yep, Tin Robot. Yeah, nice. yep, Tin Robot Games. Good. Yeah, got a good. bunch of fun things out. Good stuff. Thanks for teaching. Yeah, absolutely. I will take Thank that you win. For playing. It, I mean, it's not a win, and we tied. So, which is actually even more hysterical because when we start next week with the actual piece, it will be even better because we'll start at zero yeah we will start at zero mm -hmm. although i think if you talk to tin robot and, and whoever's working on this game and be like hey this is what happened what's the tiebreaker they most yeah. and you know as a developer the tiebreaker there should be whoever scored the most whoever had the least amount of cards i like how you just gaslight that whole situation and we're like yeah whoever has the least amount of cards is definitely they're going to be the winner there it should be it right think about it you got 26 you so? points with six cards i got 26 points with five cards but see, I think my the fact that I got six cards should actually be the win condition there, there because I got I had more cards. Games, there are plenty of games that you trigger end game, you get you finish out the round, you triggered end game, then you add up the points, and the person that triggered might not necessarily win. That's true. Yeah. Right. I mean, you did a really good job of getting a lot of points on those five few cards that you received. Um, I got six me. points on mine. And and the fact that you had more worms on your card clearly made a huge difference for you as well. Right. Which is what you're supposed to do in the game. So, yeah, I mean, right. Yeah. You, I had kind of forgotten that I was supposed to be playing crickets. So probably could have snuck one more point out of that. If you were paying attention, I definitely could have. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, no. Okay. I know we normally go into um, this is like, what are we into? And I know I backed a few things um, that launched this week, but I just, I got to bounce. I got yeah. to run up there. So we'll hold on for that until next week yep. um, where I will see you in person, my friend. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's going to be I'll good see times. A bunch of people in person. I know um, it's going to be a great time. We'll have a ton of stories over the, the 12 days that we will be together. Um, it's like the 12 days of Christmas, but games. games and I th speaking of the 12 days of Christmas, I think the plan is to record at least one game a day, day that we'll be able to use for future stuff. So yep. we're going to plan on doing our, um, our, our shows. Um, it will be, uh, it will not be, uh, it, there's not going to be a specific time that we're going to do it. I know dinner on Friday, the first Friday is at six o'clock to begin with. 
So okay. we won't be able to do the six o'clock show on that Friday. Um, and then the following Friday, I think I have a dinner. Pl- I don't know what time my dinner plan is with, um, um, I won't say, but we will, we are planning on doing the show. We are planning on recording some stuff and we'll have a full recap of all that stuff. Um, yep. yeah, we'll be in Niagara Falls, Nina. And for, um, don't forget malarcuterie tray is arriving on Friday as well. So. I hate everything about that word that you just said. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Uh, it's going to be so great. Yeah, so sure. We'll, on our first film day while we're there, it's just going to be mwah, chef's yeah. kiss of all the fun things. She's very excited. Uh, I believe it. Really worked sure, up quite a bit. I'm sure you're very excited too. I, I definitely am. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Be amazing. Yeah, okay. no, it'll, it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be uh, it'll be epic. I've enjoyed it every time I've gone, and I know this will be your first, but mm-hmm. um, it it is really it's it's going to be we're going to get a ton of stuff done work related because we just that's who we are, but it mm-hmm. also is a really nice laid back chill time with with friends. It's yep, it's just going to be a good time. So. Um, I will see you. I'll talk to you soon. I'm sure. Enjoy the yeah. clip uh, on Monday. Yeah. And we'll, we'll talk about that for sure next week. Sounds good. And then, uh, take care everybody. Thanks for joining us, uh, late on a Friday. Uh, yeah. always a pleasure, my friend. And I will see you soon. Always. Sounds good. All right. See ya. All right. Take care. Do I do the thing again? You could. I-